What is going on guys and welcome to a, another episode of Career Mode, this is episode number 70 something, <laughs> um, <coughs> let me cough, I'll read you off my memory, um, ah oh, screw it, I'll just look, uh, 79, and uh, yeah we start the episode off against Wigan, uh, obviously as they came to Anfield, and uh, obviously felt very confident in this game, and as you can see by the uh, video length, it's quite a, uh, a long video in this one, so look forward to it, and it's also got a lot of goals in it, which is always nice to see, isn't it? And uh, Gareth Bale gives us the lead just 25 minutes in, and pretty much straight from kickoff, we won the ball back. Carroll to uh, Bale here, as he takes on Alcaraz down the right-hand side. Bale just too hard to stop when he gets into his zone, plays the ball in, and how about that for a bullet header from Andy Carroll, no stopping that, Ali Al Habsi is getting nowhere near it, 2-0 uh, to Liverpool, and uh, just before half time, Jordi Alba finds Andy Carroll here, having a really good game Carroll, he gave the ball away here, but Gonlons finds him again, Carroll down left hand side, keeps his composure, plays the ball into the middle, it's cleared away, it comes to Gonlons, he's taken down, definite penalty, chance for us to make it 3-0 on the stroke of half time, no doubt about it, Belanda steps up, and Eunice Belanda never Never misses a penalty, does he? Valanda steps up. Can he beat Ali Al Habsi? Well, yes, of course he can. <laughs> he never misses a penalty. I just told you that. Why are you, why are you doubting it? Why are you doubting it? Tell me. Why are you doubting it? Why are you doubting he wasn't going to score it? Of course he's going to score it. He never misses a penalty. But uh, yeah, 3 0 to Liverpool. And uh, here we see just 15 minutes to go. Lovely ball through by Gonlon to Gareth Bale. 1 1 with the goalkeeper. Nice little heel to heel flick. It's a simple little chip finish into the back of the net. 4 0 at this stage. We're in cruise control. Wigan all over the place. And uh, made a triple substitution here. Brew on Taylor, Gerrard, and Jordan Slew. Uh, obviously, I love to do triple substitutions as the game's getting closed out. And uh, obviously straight from kickoff with the uh, the introduction of uh, two rapid players in Taylor and Slew. And a good passer in uh, Stephen Gerrard. I thought we're going to have to be very careful here. And uh, when Casemiro won the ball here, Taylor gave it away. But Daniel Aga made a good challenge, gave the ball away once again. Eventually the ball gets cleared back to uh, Bozo Shaw down the left-hand side. He uh, tries to take on Aspil Equator, gets tackled. It comes to Casemiro. He finds John Taylor. Taylor plays the ball to Carroll. Carroll sees Stephen Gerrard, loses it. But Gerrard picks the ball up. Stephen Gerrard, what a Great ball out to John Taylor. Taylor plays the ball back into Gerrard. Gerrard back to Taylor. Taylor back into Steven Gerrard. One of his last games for the club. He's, he's retiring at the end of the season, if I haven't already said. I'm pretty sure I have. But uh, he's retiring at the end of the season. And uh, every time he plays, he wants to do well. And uh, that's a great finish from Stevie G. And uh, that made it 5-0. And Gerrard wasn't done there. Great little free ball to John Taylor. So he turns from uh, goal scorer to goal provider. Gerrard to Taylor. Rounds the goalkeeper. And the two substitutes link up really nicely there. And we take the win by six goals to nil. So that is absolutely awesome news. And uh, yeah, obviously uh, a, a very convincing win against uh, a pretty poor side, to be honest. But uh, we did have a very congested fixture list in this month. And uh, as you'll see here, this is uh, the month, I think it's April this month. And uh, we've got the second leg of the Europa League quarterfinal against Roma. Then we've got Chelsea a few days later in the league. Then we've got the big game against Manchester United away at Old Trafford. And then, of course, if we get through to the next round of Europa League, we'll have two games over either side of the Manchester City game. So it's uh, it's a really hectic month. And um, as you saw, the uh, following game would, of course, course be away at Roma in Italy of course we drew the first game 2-2 we threw it away really we uh, were 2-0 up and we uh, ended up losing a two goal lead especially in the last minute El Qatari um, with a poor sort of misjudged header or whatever um, and Roma managed to uh, score two away goals but uh, in this game we started off so brightly just 11 minutes in Wilfred Zaha down the right hand side crossing the ball in and there is Jordan Slew great head of us Stecklenburg and already we were 1-0 up the perfect start away in Italy we had one away goal back on Roma, very nice to see. And just a few minutes later, we want a free kick here. Uh, Souza down the right hand side plays the ball to Wilfred Zaha. He's such a great winger, Zaha. Uh, skips past Jose Angel, lovely piece of skill. Goes down the right hand side. It's not uh, slew in the box, but it is Edison Cavani. And I've said time and time before, he's an amazing player. He hasn't got a single weakness, or not one I've seen anyway. And Cavani in the air makes it 2 0 to Liverpool. 4 to 1 aggregate, looking very strong at the moment. We'd already uh, sort of uh, made sure the away goal was, was level, if that makes sense, because they had two away goals. Now we've got two away goals. But unfortunately, Wellington came through here. Terrible defending by me. And uh, he smashed the ball past David De Gea to make it 2-1. So Roma back in the game. 4-3 here on aggregate. And uh, just a few minutes later, they once again came through. Uh, this was Florenzi finding Eric Lamella. Lamella playing the ball back to Michael Bradley. Bradley finds Abue. Abue plays the ball in. Uh, Jordi Alba heads it away. Not far enough. It comes back to Yannick. Yannick plays the ball to Eric Lamella. And unfortunately, that makes 
makes it 4-4 on aggregate, 2-2 on the night. But uh, yeah, it was looking very good. But unfortunately, Stevie G unfortunately gives the ball away here. Usually that kind of pass is very good for me because I, I can usually be pretty accurate with a crossfield ball. But unfortunately, that was given away by Gerard, And um, I'm pretty sure Finger the Jig wouldn't have gave that away Valanda. But uh, yeah, 2-2 two, uh, two, two at this stage. But Lamella made it 3-2 to Roma. And as things stood, we were going out of the Europa League, of course, on aggregate. But uh, 90th minute here, uh, Gareth bailed down the right-hand side against Jose Angel. Cuts inside, was doing my best. Didn't want to take a shot and give the ball away because, of course, we... I mean, any attack could have been our last attack at this moment. Won a corner here from Bale's shot. And uh, everyone up, including De Gea, didn't want to swing it and get the ball cleared away. So I thought I'd just pass the ball around. Do my best, Rude, to just keep hold the ball. Do not want to give it away. Henderson to Bale. De Gea runs away. Didn't know what to do, really, but Bale comes inside. Here's a little tip for you. If you really are struggling in the last minute of the game, you need a goal. Get a player with four-star skills and a lot of agility and just do a Ronaldo chop on a player because the likelihood is you'll win a penalty. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, we did win a penalty, but Landa never misses penalties. Would he miss this one against Stecklenburg? Of course he wouldn't. He smashed it down the middle. And in the 90th minute, with virtually the last kick of the game, Eunice Belanda comes off the bench to rescue us. A place into the Europa League semi-finals. That was such an intense game, seriously. We, we go through on away goals, and it was just so intense. Literally, just playing that game, I was just... I mean, I'm not even joking. I was genuinely beginning to sweat. It was that intense come the, uh, the last few minutes. But we do go through to the Europa League semi-finals. Uh, where we'll play against Zenit St. Petersburg. So that'll be a very good tie. But uh, yeah, what a superb win that was. That was absolutely brilliant. But uh, here's a quick look at the league table. Nine games to go. We are three points ahead of Manchester United. Looking very, very rosy at the moment and cannot wait for the end of the season. We could well win this league and that'll be absolutely superb. But uh, the following game is at home to Chelsea and I'm just going to have a quick glass of tea. Mug of tea, I should say. Mm. Lovely, still warm. <coughs> Clear my throat a little bit. I've done like 10 commentaries already tonight. But uh, anyway, taking on Chelsea, obviously, of course. Taking on Chelsea, obviously, of course. Uh, a very strong side, Chelsea. Going to be one of those Champions League sort of place rivals, really. And uh, they took the lead just four minutes in. Ramirez getting lucky as the ball. Uh, I think it was Oscar who took the shot in and it hit the post, came straight to Ramirez. And uh, he put the ball past David Gea into the empty net. 1 0 to Chelsea, unfortunately. Not the start we were looking for here. But uh, we got the ball straight from kickoff. Found John Taylor down the right hand side. He found Casemiro. He played the ball back to John Taylor. Skips past Ryan Bertrand with a simple piece of dribbling. Cuts inside, then just smashed the ball at check. Great save by the goalkeeper. Was headed away. Eventually, the ball comes to Andy Carroll, though. He gets past his man and rifles the ball in. Andy Carroll shot power, man. Insane. You're going to see in a minute exactly what I'm talking about. But that was insane. That no chance check was going to stop that. If he would have tried, he would have got his fingers broke. But uh, yeah, 1 1. We leveled the score up straight away. But uh, Chelsea once again came through here. Daniel Sturridge uh, finding Ramirez. You find Eden Hazard down the right hand side. Hazard crosses in. I don't know where my centre backs were. They were all over the place. And uh, Juan Mata managed to head the ball past David De Gea to make it 2 1. But uh, once again, we hit back straight away just a few minutes later. Great ball by Shikushi to Andy Carroll. And watch this for shot power. You thought the first shot was powerful. Look at that. That is insane. I mean, you know, Czech didn't get any hands to the first one, but. I mean, he, he must have got at least one finger broken from that shot. That was insane, man. Just just watching that back again. Carroll just levers the ball at Petacek, and it goes straight through him. And uh, that made it 2-2. That was awesome. But uh, here was Eden Hazard down the right-hand side, playing the ball inside. That should have been a penalty. It wasn't given. I guess Chelsea would have played the advantage anyway. And uh, unfortunately for us, we couldn't clear. And Juan Mata made it 3-2 to Chelsea. It was like, you know, <laughs> you score, we score, you score, we score, you score. And uh, yeah, 3-2 to Chelsea at this stage. This is Ramirez hitting the post from a shot here. Just so unlucky for him. And we came up the pitch with Casemiro who found John Taylor. Down the right hand side. He skipped past Ryan Bertrand. He's quite slow on this game. And uh, Taylor goes through. No one's going to catch John Taylor. He's absolutely rapid. Goes down the right hand side. Crosses the ball in. And there is Andy Carroll at the far post to complete his hat trick. Just 53 minutes in. It was already 3-3. What a great game. And uh, this was Shelby winning the ball back straight from kickoff and playing John Taylor. Through. We had a great game in this game. John Taylor. Taylor going through 1-1 one -one with Czech. Czech takes him out. It's a definite, definite penalty. Uh, no defence. I don't know why they'll complain. It was a definite penalty as uh, Taylor was taken out. And, well, I was so surprised to see this. Petr Czech gets a straight red card. It's a surprise, really, because goalkeepers don't usually get a red card straight away. They usually get a yellow card. But, um, yeah, straight red card for uh, Petr Czech. And, uh, obviously, they had to make a substitution. Courtois and Torres came on for Sturridge and Bertrand. 
John Joe Shelby uh, stood up to take this penalty. There was no Belander, of course, so uh, Shelby stood up to take this penalty. Could he put the ball past the uh, Courtois, the new uh, Chelsea goalkeeper? Steps up and sends him the wrong way. Lovely finish from John Joe Shelby, and that made it 4-3, uh, I think it was at this stage. It was so hard to keep track. 4-3, I think it was, yes. And uh, this was Mata feeding Ramirez. His shot was uh, eventually well saved by David De Gea. He had a great game, despite conceding three goals um, already in uh, uh, just just after two halves, yeah. And uh, Carroll finds John Taylor here, lovely little dummy to skip past Petr Cech, goes through one on one, eventually keeps his composure, doesn't get the ball away, crosses the ball in, and there is Andy Carroll for his fourth goal of the game. He was just on fire. Carroll and Taylor were having an absolutely incredible game uh, each. That made it 5-3 to Liverpool, four goals scored by Andy Carroll. This was Shelby picking up the ball here. Obviously the red card meant that Chelsea had no no way get back, getting back into this game. They were terrible uh, straight from that red card. and. Uh, Carroll gets his fifth goal of the game. Cavani's an amazing striker, but uh, Carroll's definitely staking a place for first team. But uh, Chelsea did manage to get a goal here. Ramirez uh, uh, putting the ball past David Hare after Torres' shot found him. We win, a game, we win the game by 6-4. A pretty comprehensive win, really. And we were just scoring for fun all game, every game in this episode. But uh, as always, guys, a big thank you for watching. And I'll see you for the next episode very soon. And the team that is expected to win.